Hello, my name is Igor Posovets from 3D.io and we will discuss in this tutorial the creation of light maps for the real-time computer games. We have already seen in the last part of the tutorial how Flatiron bakes the complete maps for the game levels. Let us expand here with this technique with one more component. As you may already know, light maps are standard shading component in most of the modern computer games. While you can spend hours and hours doing it by hand, or with some inferior technologies like Max Standard, Unwropper and Baker, it is always helpful to see if there is any better way to save the time, money and speed up your production pipeline. We see in front of us the Flatiron interface, which we will use to create a light map for this level. And despite the fact that there are tons of buttons, you need actually only four of them and one minute of your time. Let us do it straightforward. Select all objects in the scene, choose the UV channel 4 for storing your light map and press undrop button. This is your level, optimally undropped and proportionally packed into one UV sheet. As next, select output bitmap. We want only the light map, so we select in the render elements lightning map. Define finally standard material as the main material and self illumination as output slot. That is actually everything we need to do at the moment. Press bake and watch the calculation on the screen. Don't get irritated because you see the textured output. This is the way how 3D Max represents the baking process. Your light map has been calculated all the time in the background. And voila! Here is our level with a light map on it. The sharpness and the details on it look blurry because of the max viewport, so we delete all lights and switch to the standard renderer in order to render a correct result. You can already see that all textures you have had in the scene are still there, and each of them has now in the self illumination slot the lighting map. Once you have exported the scene and the textures into your game engine and set up the light map shader proper, you will see in your game all those shadows and colors just as we have seen it in the rendered image. I will set up the rendered light map in the Max Material Editor as a primary map in order to see the final result. With no lights in the scene, the level is illuminated with beautiful shades, colors and you can also see the correct baked shadows on all objects. Thank you for your attention and if you want to do your game production using the same fast and robust technique, please visit www.texturebaking.com, download the trial of Flatiron and test it yourself.